Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. Uh, today is July 17th. I've worked in the bee yard all day. It's been hot and humid. Heat index about 115. So this video is going to be a set down lecture style video. But don't discount this. It's going to have a lot of information in it. and going to touch on a lot of points that you probably don't know. The subject is dearth. Dearth means lack of. Lack of pollen, lack of nectar, lack of water in the, in the bee world. And you go into the dearth, one of the first things outside the hive you'll notice is the bees will be all congregated up here, washboarding on the fronts. That's bees that don't have anything to do. They're, they're, they don't have any food source, so they're just sitting there and doing nothing. And you'll notice also that the bees will start sniffing around. Scout bees will be sniffing around the cracks, the vent holes. As you can see here, there's nothing happening. I'm sitting right in front of the doorway on this one. Uh, but I've been in the dearth for over three weeks but I'm feeding heavy, so they don't know they're in a dearth. So there is no robin. There are not any scout bees looking in the vent holes, in the cracks, like that. That's what happens outside the hive. Now the transformer, transformation inside the hive is drastic. You go in, and there's different types, like say, uh, you have different types of dearth. You got uh, pollen dearth and nectar dearth. Right now, they're still bringing in plenty of pollen. I've got pollen feeders out. I keep it out 365 days a year for them. They're not taking any pollen, but they're drinking about 30 gallons of syrup a day. So they're in a, definitely in a nectar dearth. And when they go in, if they've got pollen re reserves in the hive and they go into a nectar shortage, The first thing that happens in the hive will, the queen backs off laying a little bit. And if it stays on persistent for a while, the next stage is they'll pull all the drone larvae out. They'll kill them. You'll see them dead drone larvae on the front of your boxes, landing boards, and down on the ground. That's the first thing to go in a dearth. If the dearth continues, which it usually does in the summertime, they'll run the drones out. I'm sure you've seen a great diminish in the amount of drones this time of year in your yard, unless you're feeding heavy. And after all that's done, if there's still a dearth on and, and there's nothing coming in, the queen will sometimes totally quit laying. Uh, she'll definitely back off, maybe just lay a nickel size here, there, and yonder occasionally. And a lot of people think in the summertime that their hive is queenless. Not so, they just, the, the, the only time they will make brood is when there's resources coming in the front door. They can have 100 pounds of honey on in that box, capped honey, even open honey, they will not make brood with that honey. That stores for the winter or survival. Now, they'll eat it to survive, but they won't make brood. And that's one reason I don't uh, like to feed with a frame feeder. It's not the same as food coming in the front door. A frame feeder, the bees consider that a spill in the hive. Like you've dumped, busted a honey frame or something, a spill in the hive, and you're just cleaning that up. Um, they will continue to lay some with that what better, but the main thing is to have food coming in the door. And when you do that, 
The bees stay active. You don't see any, any worse boarding on the front of these hives. The bees are flying, they're getting plenty. They haven't, they're still raising drones. They're still raising brood. And they're still drawing comb. I can take any one of these, any of these stronger hives and pull a frame out of the middle of the brood chamber and put a starter strip in, and they'll draw a frame of wax in two days. And I've had some people come in and have them give them draw wax. Well, you just got to feed, and you've got to start feeding before it gets severe enough, because. Once a queen is backed off laying and they get in their summertime mode, it's hard to get them back to where they'll, they'll be productive again until the goldenrod and aster and stuff starts blooming in the fall and then they'll pick up and lay their winter bees. But a lot, a lot of people went out there in the middle of June and they've got two or three boxes of honey on there and, and then they come out there first of August and they go to extract it find out there ain't any honey they've been in a dirt so long the bees has ate it all and if you, you feed um, they won't uncap their honey they'll, they'll use the sugar water to uh, sustain the hive and continue to lay in and I know there's a lot of people out there that's treatment free, put them in a box, don't feed them, nothing. But that went by the wayside when man took them out of the tree. When they, when they was natural in a tree, they took care of themselves. When man put them in a box, they're livestock. And that's what they're considered the USDA right now is livestock. And just like cows and pigs and goats, whatever you got, you've got to feed them, you got to take, you've got to feed them, you got to give them medicine when they get sick, you got to take care of them. And I hope that helps a lot because a lot, a lot of people think that their queens is dead and gone and it's just a fact that there's nothing coming in the front door. That queen's in there running around doing nothing waiting for th uh, better times. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, it, had a, it had a lot of uh, things that happened in the hive and that most people don't know. And uh, give you a little idea of what's going on in the hive, and like I say, when if when they when they start wash boarding, you get all these bees on the front of the box hanging around, nothing to do, and they're sniffing in the hose. Chances are, if you've got any weak hive at all, they're probably going to rob it out. And that's one of the main reasons to to feed and feed a lot, keep them keep them happy. These bees are all happy. They're not wanting to sting me, and I'm sitting right in the doorway on this one. And But if you enjoy the videos, hit the uh, subscribe button, the bell next to it, and get notified when I make more videos. And uh, you guys have a great day. Thank you.